Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we'll be building this really simple bottom bar animation using just Figma prototyping. It's a really simple yet a really cool animation. So let's see how can we build this entirely using just Figma. So let's get started. So we're in Figma right now and the first thing that you need is an artboard. So I'll hit A on my keyboard and I'll pick an iPhone 14 artboard. For now, let's give it a random fill. I'm just going to give it something like a light blue fill for now. And the next thing that we need to build is our uh, bottom nav itself so i'll hit r on my keyboard and it'll open the rectangle tool and i'll draw a rectangle here so our rectangle is ready now let's give it a rounded corner so let's give it like 32 um, really nice heavy rounded corners so it looks really good and the next thing that you need here is to build a depression or some sort of a circular cutout inside of this rectangle so that you can float your selection circle on top of it so hit O on your keyboard and draw a circle. So something like this. Just make sure your circle is slightly bigger than your selection circle, which I showed you here. So this is your main circle and this needs to be smaller than the cutout or the circular depression that we have below. Um, now what I need to do is I'll just select, I'll just make sure it's aligned in the center of this rectangle. And I'll select both of these shapes together. And I'll come here on the top and here you have to do subtract selection. So once you do subtract selection, it will remove that circle from the uh, rectangle itself. So now you have this cutout, but it's not really smooth at the edges nor at the bottom. So to make it like a really free, free flowing shape, you need to edit this shape. So what you have to do is just double click on the entire shape. And once you do that, you see that the main shape is again have both of these two shape included. The one that you subtracted from the primary shape, it's also available. So you'll be able to tweak the shape individually and it will also reflect the entire like the changes will reflect on the entire subtracted shape. So that's the beauty of Figma like it shows you the individual shapes uh, by which you have created the main shape. So let's uh, select again on the circle that we have. And what you have to do is you have to tweak these uh, points slightly slowly and add a curve to it. So let's say first I'll select this point and you see these handlebars. So these handlebars are there to define the curve around this point so what i'll do is i'll just select this handlebar and i'll move it a little bit up something like this so now if you see it's really nice curve flowing in this edge i have to do the same trick on this point as well select this lower handlebar and move it a little bit up and it should be exactly perpendicular to the other one and you see you now also have another nice rounded corner and what you can also do is you can just pull these little bit down and you can edit it that's the beauty of this entire thing you can edit it however you want and now if you see this is slightly narrower here so i want it a little broader so i can select sorry i can select my handle here and i can pull it a little bit this side and if you see the shape is now getting more flatter at the bottom and more curvier at the edges so now this is looking quite similar to what we have just tweak a little bit uh, to your liking so that you have the shape exactly what you want perfect so my shape is now ready the next thing that we need to do is we need to build our selected circle so let's quickly do that so i'll hit o on my keyboard and i'll create my selected circle something like this just make sure you have even numbers add a white color to it and this is how our circle will be so in the animation you have seen that once we select any other element whatever element we are selecting this curve is moving in that location and the circle is also moving in that location and the icon is moving up so if i show you here uh, if i select the center icon the curve is moving in the center the circle is also moving in the center changing color and the icon is moving up so if you see the icon is moving up okay so this is the exact animation that we have to build so this is the bare bone that is ready. Now the next thing that we need to do is to add our icons. So let's quickly grab our icons and add it here. I've placed my icons, three icons here. The central icon is on the circle itself and the rest of the two icons are on the left and right. Okay. So now I also want to have a different color to the circle when a certain thing is selected. So once the center one is selected, I want it to be um, this color, like a little a magenta pink and the icon color needs to be white as well so let's have it as white and i also want this bubble to be floating as well this circle to be floating as well so i'll add a quick effect of a drop shadow just change the color of the drop shadow to the selected shape 
reduce the opacity a little bit okay like 25 and then add a little bit of a blur so it looks a little diffused but looks really nice here okay so our one of the stage is ready actually or one of the stage that we want to create is ready so now what we have to do is we have to create other stages when the first one is selected so i'll just duplicate this artboard here and it's very simple to create that uh, state as well so what i have to do is first i'll go into the background shape and i'll select my ellipse cutout which we tweaked and using my arrow keys on the keyboard i'll just move it a little left like this looks absolutely perfect and the next thing that I need to do is I'll select the selected circle and move it onto the left like this. Perfect. Move my home icon in the center. Perfect. Uh, change the color to white. Now the next thing that you have to do is select the uh, heart icon which is in floating on the top. So what you have to do is just align it to the bottom with the profile icon and change the color of this heart icon to black. So now this is our second stage and I want to change this um, color as well. So what I'll do is I'll change this pink to something else. So let's have it like a dark blue. So this looks good. And you also have to change the drop shadow color. So it's now at this magenta pink. Just change it to this blue. Add it like a 25% opacity and diffusion is the same. So you have the blur and everything ready. And that's how easily you can make the second stage and now let's also make the third stage so i also want the background color to be different in all the three artboards so let's quickly change that perfect so our three stages are now ready what we need to do now is we need to quickly prototype this up. It's really simple. Let's see how can we prototype this. The heart icon, if you see um, this heart icon and on tapping of this heart icon, I should come to this second stage. So I'll select the heart icon in the first frame, link it to the second one. On tap, navigate to smart animate, gentle and 800 milliseconds. If you want, you can play with these different settings, but I think gentle works for me. So when I select the heart icon from the first, uh, artboard I should come to the second one similarly from the third one I'll just move to the respective artboard on tap smart animate gentle 800 milliseconds perfect so now what you have to do is you have to repeat the same um, interaction for all the states so you have to move the selected uh, non-selected state to the selected state so let's quickly just do that so perfect now we are done with our wiring let's see how this looks like amazing so if you see this motion is really smooth and the icons are also floating up really nicely and the depression curve that we have below the cutout that we have below is also moving really smoothly so i think that's it for today's video guys if you like this video do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye